Hello everyone and welcome to our first ever episode of On The Radar. The podcast will cover anything happening in the arts and entertainment world, whether it be in the higher celebrity level or even on some some on-campus events. This podcast is an extension of the Highlander newsroom and the newspaper in which we will talk more in depth about the radar world. I'm Kimberly Bechek, the assistant radar radar editor, and I'm here with Brendan Bowe, our radar editor. So um, to start off, I wanted to ask you a little question. Um, If you could be a celebrity for a day, who would you be and why? Oh, that's a really good one. I think I would pick Michael B. Jordan just because I watched all the Creed movies. And like, he's just he's just cool. He's just a, I think he's like a really talented, uh, well, director now because he directed the last Creed movie, which was really cool. And um, he seems like a sporty guy and I would like to play sports in his body. I don't know. That's kind of weird to say, but yeah. How about you? He's also very good looking. He is is really good looking. That's a very big plus. (laughs) But if I would have to be a celebrity for a day, I'd be Meghan Markle. Who's that? Oh. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> oh my gosh. You don't know Meghan Markle? I don't know who Meghan Markle is. Do you Markle know the is. British royal family? Yeah. Oh, is she the is she the one that married? Harry, Prince Harry, yeah. Prince Harry. Yeah, and then like they split from the royal family. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Wasn't she also an actress? Yeah, she was in Suits. In Suits, yeah. yeah. She was, Um. what was her name? I forgot. Oh, I didn't watch Suits, but I knew she was in Suits. Mm. Um, but yeah, the reason why I want to be her for a, only a day, though, I can't be her for like my whole life is because I think I really want to know what the go- what the drama is about. Like oh. everything's like speculated and all that. And like, I feel like if I was Meghan Markle for a day, I could figure I could be like, so Harry, like what's been happening oh, these yeah. past few like years? And he'd be like, excuse me, like, <laughs> yeah, what's shouldn't t- you know? <laughs> but what, what's like, the tea, Harry? Like, no, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, why, why, are, why are we in the queen not good? Oh, she died. Why are we in the king king charles not yeah, good yeah 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 well there's just so much i want to know like yeah that's basically it oh that's good that's a good answer yeah so anyways let's get into it ariana grande just released a new song called yes and which calls for people to mind their business and stop making assumptions about her dating life speaking of which has a lot of controversy that has been circulating circulating about her and her dating life do you know her dating life? I do know her dating life. All right. Do you want to you want to talk about it? Um, I only know the recent one, the recent development, which mm-hmm. is she was dating Dalton Gomez. Yeah, Gomez, Dalton Gomez, who was a realtor, not a celebrity, and then um, she was married to him, and then she got casted for Wicked, which was a role I believe she really wanted, right, for yeah. like quite a while. Yeah. Um, and on set, she met Ethan Slater who played the titular character in the Spongebob musical. He was Spongebob, yes. He was Spongebob. <laughs> and then they met, um, and Ethan was still with his wife. What was her name again? I don't know. I forgot her name. I don't know. Oh, that's right. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> but um, they were with a child already. Um, I think, I, yeah, so she right? ju- No, yeah, it was her newborn child. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and then Ari and him, I don't know the timeline. Like, I don't really know. Like No one really does. No one really does. Huh? Yeah, that's what everyone's, like, debating yeah. right now. So it's speculated yeah. that they got together um, because she did divorce Dalton. Uh, I think it was announced she divorced. They were separated yeah. at the time. Oh. Or they were going through the divorce process. Okay. And then, like, kind of too soon after, she, well, it was announced that her and, Ethan, or her and Ethan Slater were dating. Right. Or seeing each other. Like, they yeah. were kissing on set and all that. But, yeah, and... At that time, he was still with his wife, supposedly, mm-hmm. um, and she had the wife was in an interview and she said Ariana is not a girl's girl. Wow. Yeah, and then in yeah. the song, she's basically saying, "Mind your own business." Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, do you listen to Ariana Grande? I do. I really liked "Position." That was like like the album or the, the song. The album. Okay. Like the whole album. Like I used to know every single song. It was like pretty good. Like. I think I was a pretty good Ari fan just for that. But, like, her past music, I wasn't, like, super big on. Mm-hmm. Um, that's because the person I was 
currently talking to was into Ariana Grande at the mm-hmm. time. Um, but uh, after Positions, I know she didn't release a lot of like, she didn't she release any like music. She took like a, right? a three year-ish break because right. she decided to focus on her personal life, which so there was also COVID happening, but her personal life right. being with Dalton, um, focusing. You know, mm. she, they didn't end up being together anymore yeah. but and also she was focusing on her acting career with wicked right yeah and i i think i also heard she was she's into beauty as well no oh yeah she yeah. got into her or she started a cosmetic line uh rem beauty mm. yeah have you bought any of her products no okay. but i have oh my god i i wear her, i have her perfume and i put on her perfume today even like so, like I know we were going to talk about Ariana Grande, but like I kind of <laughs> forgot. I'm like, oh, it's perfect. It's like I'm bringing her essence. <laughs> <laughs> You're channeling her. I know, You're like channeling. manifesting Ari. Um, but yeah, I am. I am a big fan. Okay. Of her music, right. which um, um, I listened to her since like, I don't know, middle school. Wow. Yeah. So I know all her like albums and stuff, and I my favorite album is Thank You Next mm. because I really like the emotional emotionless emotion emotionality oh. i like the emotions of, okay. the, of the album <laughs> it's really good so you're a big fan wait and listening since middle school middle school i remember she released that one song um was it she was featured on or she made it it was like the 99 problem song that's where Problems. i remember her it was with it was her song and she featured iggy azalea okay that's where i remember her yeah. that's when she got big for me personally yeah yeah i think everyone was like a big fan of her in middle school and i was like okay i'll i'll jump Let's on give it a listen. Yeah. yeah um coming back to the present though talking about yes and do you oh. do you think she home wrecked that relationship you know someone said something interesting on um the highlander newsroom that like she home wrecked them but also the home was already wrecked or, or the it was foundations like, weren't strong the foundation yeah. wasn't strong yeah like the home was just waiting to be wrecked which so i found that interesting because i don't know about ethan's relationship with his wife before meeting ari so like you would think having a wife and a newborn kid would be a strong a foundation a kid dude. you would think i would think so yeah i would think so <laughs> <laughs> i really would because it's literally a home yeah it, like home wrecking that's it literally, was the home literally part. a home yeah there's a family in there dang dude that's why they said she's not a girl's girl because i think she said like her or the wife said that her and the family was just like collateral damage yeah. i'm just like isn't isn't that why like i feel like people are really like bashing on her right now because her other relationships which now people are like speculating and looking back and saying like oh she might have home wrecked those relationships too isn't it because like now there's a child involved that like the stakes are higher or like people sympathize less with her yes but also i think it was the shock that ethan slater isn't as attractive as one might think i'm not me i mean mean, um, that's what people are saying that's a quote that's Mm. not a quote but that's what people are saying that's i'm just saying that i'm not saying that's my opinion it might be it might not but that's what people are saying. <laughs> um, I do think she did Homer at the... Actually, I don't know. Because the timeline's being called into question right now about how there's no hard evidence. Mm-hmm. But, like, the fact that, like, she homewrecked past relationships or there's been a lot of rumors, it's, like... It's, like... Since it's, like, consistent, right. it's, like, probably her. Right. And she has a song called Break Up With Your Girlfriend, I'm Bored. Right. Which is literally the, what the title says. And it's kind of, like are you is, is that real yeah now she's like is it like a manifestation yeah and that was on her past that work? was on thank you next in which all a lot of the songs were like like kind of like her emotions mm-hmm. and like what she was going through at the time so it's kind of like is this real and right. she said it was a joke like don't do this but i'm like i don't know now anymore Ari. Right. like it seems real no like a little too real like because he actually broke up not with his girlfriend mm-hmm. but he divorced his wife yeah that's like a step above that song but i actually heard like interpretation that that's not what she meant by the song um i don't know if you heard about this interpretation but she was saying she was the girlfriend in that situation and she was asking for him to break up with her so she can make up with him 
We're gonna move past that because I don't <laughs> think you heard about that. <laughs> that's what that's what someone told me. I was just like, oh, empty thoughts. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. Wait, I was so confused. What? Like she's in the relationship, and the girlfriend she's talking about is herself. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Cause you, oh, so you have heard of this? It's yeah, because in the music okay. video, she played herself. Oh, you know what? Let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> um but like be like her being called a homewrecker though mm -hmm. did that affect your like listening of her music unfortunately yes for okay. me um i couldn't like it's it's so hard because all of her songs are like so love like it, there's so yeah. much like love in They're her really songs, good songs especially positions because positions is such a like a oh come home and like you know it's such a lovey-dovey right? also yeah spicy very right, spicy album. right right which yeah. is like great low-key because you know it's sensual it's like that's the kind of music that you <laughs> that's the kind of music that like it's fun to have a partner in yeah <laughs> wait okay okay um. <laughs> it's a very intimate album right yeah it's a very intimate album. yeah there you go <laughs> um yeah i think personally it affect it affected me it um I after I found out about it and her yeah. not being a girl's girl, I was just like, I I can't I can't support her, I can't I can't keep defending her no, anymore. Yeah. Like yeah, I've, yeah. I've been like defending her these past years. I'm like, you know, she's been go she goes through trauma, blah blah. blah. Yeah, yeah, and this yeah. happened. I'm like, oh, well, I can't defend her for no. this one. And then you 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 see who SpongeBob is, and you're like, Ooh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, it's tough. It's tough just because like. You know, now that because she puts so much of herself in her songs. Yeah, she does. So like, I can't separate Ari from her songs. I decided to. Whoa. Okay, so okay. I, you know, Spotify. Um, the Spotify. What's it called? Spotify Rap. Spotify Rap. Yeah. She's been in my like number one Spotify Rap mm -hmm. for like two, three years straight. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> yeah. And then, and I'm like the top like zero point zero five. I think that's pretty good. I wouldn't that's know. Really I think high. that's really good. That's really high. That's like, really high. Yeah, that's like really. And you're, I was just yeah. like. So you're an Ari stan. Is that yeah. what? Yeah, that's like even bigger She's than She's like a my fan. number one artist. Yeah. I've been to one of her concerts. Anyways, so I was just like, you know, I love her music. I love her like voice. Right. But I, like right after the accusation or the home wrecking accusations came out, I was just like, I'm going to take a break. And so. 2023 my top artist was SZA mm. and I think Ariana Grande was my second um which is like still pretty high but like the fact that she's not first anymore I right. feel like says a lot that's, that's true and given the time too though like because you probably listened to her I mean when did this happen I forgot like what the 20, month was it was like er, like mid early 2023 oh mid early so oh. you probably listened to her for like half the year. Yeah, she yeah. also didn't release any new music, so it's kind of easy not to. And SZA released a new album that year, right? So it was kind of easy to do that. Yeah. But yeah. Um, do you think like is it hard for you to separate um the artist from their art? Mm, I feel like I was thinking about this because I knew we were gonna talk about this, but like, <laughs> um, I was thinking about I was trying to look at like my playlist and stuff, but like for some people. I really can like like Kanye I like Kanye I like his music but Contro him as a person controversial I don't like no yeah I don't like him as a person at all but some of his music is like really good you know what you're not wrong some of his music is good you're right yeah yeah it's for so for some artists I'm able to but I miss I the old Kanye I miss the old Kanye <laughs> I don't know. It's it's tough, but also maybe it's because Ari puts so much of herself in her songs that it kind of it's kind of hard to listen to it. Like, oh, mm -hmm. now I know that you might not be a good romantic partner, or like you're not representative of like I know. who I want to be with. That's crazy when you yeah. listen to you know POV. I do not know P oh POV from in positions. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. like crazy hearing that song and then like knowing knowing what she does no yeah <laughs> but i think in terms of also like another separating the art from the artist yeah. besides like music wise is jk rowling jk rowling yeah oh, with her. you don't yeah. oh my god i should you don't listen to or you don't watch harry potter 
I didn't watch the movies, but I read the books. Wait, what? Yeah. How do you not watch the movies? They're they're iconic. I read the books. <laughs> no, I'm still. No, no, no. I am though. I am though. Like I started recently. Um, I'm on Goblet of Fire now. But yeah. Uh, Wait, I like the movie my, or the book? The the movie. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I've watched like the first three because Goblet of Fire is the. But yeah, first one. I yeah. feel like all the stuff about J.K. Rowling came out like way after the books. Right. But like, I guess in terms of like Ari and Harry Potter. Like, I kind of grew up with that. So mm. I feel like it's just like... Oh, I blanked out. <laughs> it's kind of like hard to like separate the um, art and the artist. Right. But like, I feel like sometimes... In terms of music, I kind of like space out. Right. So I just like... Like, the music is playing, but I'm not... I'm like, it's like white, white noise right. for me. So I'm not like actually listening, but... I don't know. I see... No, yeah, I wasn't even thinking of J.K. Rowling because it's a good example because, I, was, I mean, it's so easy to love Harry Potter. I feel like it's also easy to not think about, the like, the artist yeah. because, like, it's a story. Right. And it's not like with, like, music, you're, like, actually hearing their voice. Right. And you're, like, digging deep into all the lyrics and all that. Yeah. I, I, kn- I know for Harry Potter, it's like you're not digging into, like, the politics yeah. or anything like that. Like, she's like, not trying it's to... Not, it's really not about the author. Right. Like, she's not trying to enforce, like, that part of herself. Yeah, there's, like, no personal life in there. Right. Well, there could be, but, like, you know. Yeah, no. Now I'm trying to think, like, what other mediums besides books and music? We can talk about what movies and TV shows, too, I guess. Like, when you think about, like, maybe... Ooh, like Sam and Cat. Sam and Cat, oh yeah, huh? Because Je- Jeanette McCurdy, Jeanette McCurdy and Ariana Grande. So you could think about iCarly. So anything right. Dan Schneider, <laughs> right? Yes, <laughs> if you read the the memoir, right, by Jeanette McCurdy, have you the read? memoir? Yeah. yeah, the memoir. Yeah, the memoir. <laughs> How to say that word? <laughs> um, I didn't read it, but I I like knew what was up, right? And like everything with Sam and Cat, yeah. But, um, yeah, which is really unfortunate. But, I mean, again, I guess that's a way where you, you don't really see the um, the creator. I guess you mm-hmm. just see the, like, story, the content. Right. Because right. I, oh, wow, I also grew up with Victoria's and yeah, iCarly. Right, so, right. like, I mean, they're such childhood shows. Yeah. And they're really good. And they have good, like, funny, very funny moments. No, yeah. I think if you just like go into the behind the scenes stuff and you just feel really creeped out and all that. Absolutely. Yeah. But it's like we enjoyed so much of that and that made such like a big impact on our childhoods too. Like the jokes, the humor. Yeah. Like how they carry themselves. And it's just like sad to think that the person behind that wasn't a good person at all. Yeah. Like that's a little heartbreaking, but almost like I don't want to let go of that at the same time. You know what I'm saying? To be fair, they're also celebrities Mm. and they're humans. Mm -hmm. Not saying anything about Dan Schneider and like um, J.K. Rowling because that's extreme. (laughs) But Ariana Grande, you know, there's a lot of not girls, girls out there. And like, it's just even more of a bigger scale because this is she's a celebrity. Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. So. And now there's a big spotlight just because she is. Yeah. Yeah. But it depends. We'll see when her album comes out on March 8th. Ooh. and um we'll see what else hidden messages are on in her songs yeah but yeah i want to find a character that's difficult to on the surface understand okay so moving on we have had a few articles recently that mentioned may december which were both written by our lovely staff writer ramita seti um the movie is loosely based on mary um L, who groomed her 12 year old former student into a relationship the media frenzy that resulted from this and her arrest are explored in the film the movie faces many tough subjects one being that media tends to probe and intrude on victims lives for the point of turning it into art recently the film has been under fire for doing the same thing to philly uh below as they did not consult with him first um as a result the ethics of biopics have been brought into question um, just to make it even more clear, um, Billy, Billy, Bill, Billy, um, he, he was the 12 year old who was groomed and 
that was kind of like it was loosely based on his life and you know he found out one day there was a movie being made about him and he was like what the heck so which is crazy because that's Mm -hmm. what made december is basically like kind of talking about like um i guess like how is art what what is art basically like that that whole big question right but yeah this was a is this is this is kind of like a biopic kind of like um but yeah i think it if anything it just brought into the question of like do you think biopics are needed right yeah uh do i think biopics are needed i actually really do like biopics i think um if handled well uh since everyone loves movies you know like i love movies um and i'm sure a lot of people writing for us do love movies too because we get like a lot of movie reviews but um as i was saying i think it's, it's a really interesting way to present someone's life in a way that's also like how do i say it um i don't know because everyone likes movies movies like tend to dramatize they tend to be yeah uh, backed by a really amazing soundtrack and like the actors portraying it kind of give these really big emotional performances so it's really entertaining i would say yeah and it's a good way to show like to give information while being entertaining because i feel like that's how a lot of people receive information but the nuances as we're gonna like talk about i think yeah. some celebrities musicians whatever mm-hmm. like their stories are just so like impactful or like so like crazy i guess that like it makes sense why there's a biopic Mm -hmm. but there are some biopics that are kind of like they have exaggerated points for like entertainment which makes sense like for example um bohemian rhapsody which is a biopic mainly on like freddie mercury have you watched i have watched yeah that biopic is really good there was some points i know that was like exaggerated for the point of entertainment like i was saying and i think you know if they are done right Mm -hmm. i feel because i feel like that is done right in my opinion Mm -hmm. um but i feel like if they are done right you just have to like consult with like that person or like the family if they're like passed away or they can't consult from them um like like consult for themselves yeah out of respect because this is someone's life that you're kind of like going in depth in and like showing like the public and like even though the public might know kind of like what we were mentioning with like the ariana grande thing yeah. is like how much do they actually know because there's right. speculations there's rumors there's right. like like primary sources but like or secondary sources but like what are those sources no yeah but yeah and you, it, you make us like such really good points because like honestly it's a balance of like a lot of those things too mm-hmm. right like balancing representing the person like the family knew him as mm-hmm. and then balancing like what actually happened um uh, what he what this person has done like the person that the biopic is mm-hmm. featuring and then like um i guess like what the audience knows him for too him or her um so i mean it's interesting it's yeah. like a really delicate balancing act too yeah. yeah 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 do you know any biopics yourself that are like done right in your opinion done right oh man off the top of my head i'm not sure because I watched Oppenheimer. I mean, Oppenheimer was the biggest biopic of last year. Yeah. Um, and that was one where uh, there are definitely, like, you could see Christopher Nolan use uses a lot of tactics to make the story very dramatic. Yeah, that's right. Right? Yeah. And very, like, uh, entertaining and very, like, interesting. Yeah. Even though, it honestly, if it was a documentary format, it wouldn't be as entertaining, I would say. Like, it would be kind of boring yeah i think because it's directed by christopher nolan also yeah i feel like that's a really big like factor for people to want to watch it right yeah yeah i that's what i honestly think i that's what i think that's part of the reason why i wanted to watch it because it was like directed by christopher nolan Mm -hmm. but yeah um any other biopics oh man i probably watched a few but i can't like remember off the top of my head i know um priscilla oh I know there was so Priscilla herself was actually heavily involved in the making of it and she like it's kind of based off her like book I guess it's like I don't know what the title is but I know it's like her time with Elvis Presley and like you know she kind of like exposed the truth of like how everything went but then when it came to the movie she um 
you know she was heavily involved in that and there was stuff she cut out out of respect for elvis and like i don't know if you heard but like the one who directed it um she reached out to the daughter uh lisa marie okay um about it and she said i don't want this uh, made wow yeah and then i think uh, I, f- I don't i really don't know the uh, um director but she was like um like we're gonna we're gonna do it correctly or we're gonna do it right but she passed away before she could see the movie oh yeah the but daughter or the, the daughter oh wow. but the mom was okay with it. The, well the mom was involved so i don't really i don't really know was i was there but uh-huh. i knew that was something that was happening wow and again it's like the bal- bouncing of like what is important to this biopic mm-hmm. like the daughter's like the daughter saying that she didn't want the movie to be made is that's crazy yeah like wow no i can't even like because what if a movie was made about you you know or like your family member and you're like nope I don't want this made. I don't want my life to be shown this way or represented this way. I mean, I I kind of understand because the reason why she didn't want it made was, it was like respect out of her dad. Mm-hmm. And like with the Elvis movie by Baz Luhrmann coming out, I feel like she didn't want like, I guess this other side of yeah. Elvis to come out. But I don't know. It's, it's really complicated because like I think in biopics, like it's just like, to to make it be done right it's just like be respectful Mm -hmm. but i don't know it's really tough yeah because like it's also the effect they have yeah right because if they didn't want elvis to be represented this way but this was like also a truthful representation Mm -hmm. of how he actually was then like what matters more the truth or how people like want to see the it. people close to him right oh yeah who like i guess are like valuable people in his life feel about it oh, oh yeah do you think it's fine though that they're like being like sometimes dramatized for the entertainment purposes mm, it's tough it's tough to say because i think it can be done like it's there's so many ways to do it wrong and to mm-hmm. just dramatize it too much um and to kind of like misrepresent the people in the movie Mm -hmm. i wish i like knew the history of oppenheimer better so i can like come up with like there's just like so much that you can like look at with biopics that like are brought into question some are done right some are really done like really well and wonderful but like there's also some that are kind of like questionable like the crown or well pam and tommy that's like not good because that was about pamela anderson and like she was not really happy about it because that was a dark time oh so yeah. yeah that was like an interesting time that like people like it would be interesting to talk about but also like um you know it'd be tough right or it's just you know hard yeah i think some stories don't have to be told if they don't if the person doesn't want them told yeah because like if you want that part to not be told because it would bring more publicity mm-hmm. more spotlight on like a dark part of your life oh man dude I, i'm trying to i'm trying to like put myself in that shoe too like there's yeah. no way i'd want that out it's tough it's very yeah. tough but we're not celebrities so we don't have to deal with that Thank god <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah uh ending off on that note we have come to an end to our very first episode of radar rants um if you want to if you want more in the arts and entertainment world um check out the highlander that comes out tuesday in new stands spread throughout campus on our website, highlandernews.org, or on our web Instagram at The Highlander. Thank you guys for listening or watching, depending on what platform you're on, and we'll see you next time. Bye.